Now, Sauce Gardner and Miko Harmon have been having a little bit of banter. Um, it seems like the Pivot Podcast is creating a lot of uh, a lot of uh, banter between the players, a little talk back between the players. So basically, Sauce Gardner, uh, sorry, um, Miko Miko Harmon went on the Pivot Podcast and he talked about the criticism of the Jets team, the culture, etc. In his interview, Sauce Gardner didn't like that. So, um, Gard- so Sauce Gardner then went on and said that Harmon never earned his stripes. Now, he went on to say, Gardner went on to say, if you really know what it takes to win, he said, he said, if you really know what it takes to win, you're going to make sure you let the team know. The reason he couldn't do that is because he never earned his stripes. He came into the facility and thought he had made it for, uh, he had it made for him. So coming from this, hey, I'm, I'm the guy that's from the Chiefs, you know, big pump return, etc. cetera. Uh, now I'm going to, you know, I'm going to Jets and you guys got to listen to me, right? That M.O. didn't work well with the Jets and their culture. So he said, uh, if Sauce went on to say, if you're going to, if you know what it takes to win, you're going to, Kenya. Okay, he's downstairs. Okay, Kenya. Thank you. He says, if you go, if if you know what it takes to win, you're not going to go to practice and drop punts and then have excuses so why to why you're dropping them. You're not going to go into special teams meeting and get cussed out by the special teams coordinator. There's just certain things you're not going to happen if you truly know what it takes to win. So basically, the way Miko Harmon, from what Sauce was saying, was not saying he had takes what, what it takes to win. So when it comes down to it, here's the deal: like when you go to another team, you know you do have to kind of establish your roots. You know, there's some guys that go to different teams and they have that type of status where, hey, you can start, you can do some of the things that you you normally do without gravitating to what the the team is doing as holistically. The Jets were building. So I, I don't I don't know if that's what or that's how Miko Harmon was was operating or that's his MO, whatever it is, I'm not sure. But what what I will what I will say is this. Miko Harmon like th- there has to be there there's been consistency consistency with it. Whatever happened, happened. But the the you can't the Jets can't put that on Miko Harmon and then as well as Sauce Gardner can't put that on Miko uh, Miko Harmon can't say the Jets culture was was just fun they were trying to figure things out and yes we saw what happened what happened with the Jets when Aaron Rodgers when Aaron Rodgers uh um you know went uh and Aaron Rodgers went down right we saw what happened that the franchise just scrambled they had everything squared away and it scrambled but that's that but that's on the Jets like that's on the Jets. That's that's them just trying to figure things out. So where I think both sides are right, this playful banter can just be brushed over. So it doesn't mean anything, you know. I don't know if it's playful, but it's banter. Um, you know, usually guys say if you see me, you know, you know what's up. But a lot of times that doesn't happen. A lot of guys these days are all talk. So 